All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Smithified Podcast. Today we're on episode number nine, which is crazy because what that means is that next week is episode number ten, and we're hitting double digits, which is insane. Our podcast that started out as a joke like eight, nine weeks ago, and here we are. We're already into the double digits in episodes, which is awesome. And I want to thank you all so much for the support on the recent episodes. I mean, there's a couple people who are saying that they enjoy the podcast, and I appreciate it. So, yeah, it's good that you guys are you guys are happy with it, and I'm pretty happy with it. So let's just, I'm just going to keep it going every single Sunday. Check back if you want more of the Sminify podcast. Yeah, this is our weekly show. But, yeah, I'm here solo today for episode nine. This is my second week solo in a row. Next week I will be getting I will be getting some guests on. I think I'm going to get Nacho and Matt on next week for hopefully a pretty good uh, episode 10. Hopefully episode 10 is good because it's, it's a pretty big milestone, to be honest, to hit the double digits with podcast episodes. It's it's quite the achievement. It's difficult, and I'm really happy that it, it's going this long. And I, I really have no plans of stopping it. I just want to keep going. It's a great way to just update everybody weekly where I'm at, connect personally with you guys every single week, and it, it's good stuff. And... So yeah, I'm just gonna stay on the grind. So yeah, I just want to thank you all so much for the support on these. We're gonna keep going because I, I do I do enjoy doing them. So let's keep it up. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Dude. I hope you all are staying safe. I mean, again, I'm from a small town. You know, I'm I'm pretty safe. I'm free to roam around, I guess. But I mean, I was playing with some friends from the UK today. They said they can't even like leave their house, and that's that's tough. So I just hope you all are staying safe. I wish the best for your family, everybody. Let's just let's stay safe. Let's get through this together. It's not a good deal at all. It's very unfortunate, but. I'm kind of lucky side because I'm from the smaller community, so I really, I still have privileges of roaming around and stuff, freedoms, but yeah, yeah, hopefully we can all get through this, this is not good, but I'm not here to talk about the coronavirus, I mean, we, we hear about that on the news every single two seconds. Today, <clears throat> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I think this episode I'm just gonna talk about my channel, kind of the future of my channel, because the truth is, is that, okay, I judge the beginning of summer when school ends. I don't know when the actual season of summer starts. That might have already happened. I don't know. But I judge I judge summer starting when school ends. In my school, we just, like, canceled our finals. Like, <laughs> I don't know who made that executive decision, but, like, a couple days ago, I just got the news. My school's like, all right, we're not doing finals this year. So this week, this next week here, is the last week of my school year. So my junior year is already over. Like, well, that was quick. That was a very abrupt ending. That was, I mean, it's not what any of us wanted. It was so unfortunate. I remember last year I was at graduation and I was talking with one of my friends who was a junior at the time. I was a sophomore and he was like, well, I only got one more year left and I'm out of here. And I was like, yeah, that's true. But I mean, it's a whole year. And now here we are one year later and he's graduating sometime who knows when, because the world is chaos right now. It's crazy. And then I'm, I now I'm in his position. Now I'm the junior who's like, all right, well, now I got one more year. So that really puts perspective into how much time I got left. And it's not much time because I thought that year would take a while, but no. It, it flies by. It really does fly by. So I'm trying to make the last of the, the most of this last year. I got, hopefully I graduate on time next year. Hopefully I don't have to, like, imagine if we were still dealing with the coronavirus next, next graduating season. My, my, my entire senior year is ruined as well. That would be, that would be so unfortunate. That's terrible. Ah, it might even affect winter sports at this point, honestly, which is, it's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. But anyways, yeah, I got one week of school left, no finals. Uh, hopefully I'm going to finish strong here. Maybe next week I'll reflect on how school went this year because I don't, it was a very interesting year. Like for me, 2018, 2019, those years, I thought they were a little stale. I thought 2018, 2019, like not much went on. They were just kind of boring years. They just kind of happened, you know, like nothing special, nothing to stand out about them. And then we all hit the new decade. We're like, oh man, like, oh man, I remember New Year's Eve, man. I was just like, wow. I was like almost getting emotional because of how old I felt. I was like, holy crap, I've just survived my first, like my first solid decade. I was born in 2002 and then 2010 to 2020, that was, that was my main childhood right there. And I just, and it just looking back on it all in that one, like it all just flashed before my eyes right before the ball dropped on, on New Year's Eve. I was like, wow, that went so quick. Like it was just, it was like five years ago, like half a decade ago that we were playing Black Ops 3. It was Eight years ago, we were playing Black Ops 2. Like, where did that time go? It's incredible. It was seven years since I made my YouTube video. Like, all that time just flashed from my eyes. But, yeah, that's how it is. And I thought 2018, 2019 were pretty stale years. Like, 20, 2014 to 2017, those were some good years, I thought. Those were some great years. Honestly, all the 2010s were pretty good till 2017. But 2018, 2019 just happened. And then 2020 comes. We're all hoping for the best. And then we just get hit with so much stuff so much stuff has happened to this to begin this decade like you guys already know what it is we don't, I don't even have to name everything off there's 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 literally so much stuff that it, it would take a lot of effort to think of all the stuff that's happened this year already and it's only it's only may holy everybody it's already may it is it is already may that isn't oh my 
how is it already made? I, I, for me, it feels like the school year was just starting. For me, it feels like September watching f- f- uh, home football games was like yesterday. Like, holy crap, and it's already May, and, and school's over already for me, which is which is crazy. But at least I like kind of got to finish out a school year. I mean, so I was talking to somebody in the stream, and he said they just his whole school was just like canceled in, in March, I think. I'm pretty sure he just said that. They just like stopped. So I was like, oh, well, at least I kind of got to finish out school, I guess, even though it's all online. And online school is just terrible. Like props to anybody who can learn anything online. I legit just can't focus and get the motivation to get anything done online. It's so difficult. But yeah, that's where we're at, everybody. That's where we're at. It's May. It's what is it today? Is it su- it's Sunday, May May third? Sunday, May third. Oh, it's already May, dude. That that's crazy. And summer is a week away from me. Summer is a week away, which is why I want to make this podcast mainly about my channel. Because the truth is, when summer hits, when summer hits, that's when all of us get busy, man. When summer hits, we're all gonna be getting busy. I'm gonna be getting extremely busy like working between working uh sports and my family recently got like a lake home so we're gonna be going back and forth between the lake home and this home and like the thing is i think it's just gonna be so difficult so difficult for me to stay on the youtube grind if i'm just constantly uh vacationing transporting back and forth working it's just it's gonna be it's gonna be such a grind and to be honest right now i have no clue how it's gonna work out like so far for me with this youtube channel i started like Hold up, I'm gonna pull the mic a little closer. I started like, uh, let's see, when do I, I started? I started grinding this YouTube channel like eight weeks ago. I started, I did like three days in a row. Then we had some very unfortunate family events happen, and then I started to upload every single day after. Like I took like a six day break, and then I just started uploading every day. And like I haven't uploaded every day for the since for the last like two months, but I've basically uploaded every day. You know, like some days I've uploaded two videos, three videos, and then the next day I'll upload a video just a little bit too late. So I, I mean, I'm not. I technically haven't uploaded every single day, but I've basically uploaded every single day is what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, and like the, the thing is, the conditions were so ideal for me to do that. Like everybody's sitting at home, so there's going to be a lot of traffic on YouTube. Nobody's doing anything. Like here for the for the last eight weeks is how it's been. Everybody's just been sitting at home. Nobody's been doing anything. Like I haven't been doing anything, so it's perfect. It's perfect timing for me to start the channel and to start grinding and to build it up. And I'm I'm really wondering what's going to happen once once life gets back to normal, if if that ever happens. And once we're all just free to roam and I actually have to do stuff, am I going to be able to stay on the YouTube grind? Because I really, I really, here's the thing, here's the thing. I know I'm always going to stay on the YouTube grind. Because the thing, the thing about YouTube with me is if I'm not doing YouTube, I'm going to, I'm legit, I just, I just get bored, all right? Like, once again, why did I come back to this channel? Why did I come back? Because I started back in 2018, the end of 2018. I made a couple videos and then... Yeah, I took like a year off, and that whole year I was like, all right, I just, by the end of that year, I was like, all right, I'm getting bored, I'm getting bored, I gotta start YouTube up again, and then I just went back and started up this channel, it's been having, it's been so successful, and I thank you all so much for that, we're at like 680 subs right now, 681 while recording this at 3.11 p.m. on Sunday, which is awesome, and I still don't have the 600 subscriber special up, I am, I, my apologies, I am, I don't know what it is, dude. I don't know why I'm so late to get those subscriber specials up. The thing is, for me, it's like so... Editing a video is just so... It's so, like, overwhelming, maybe. It's just such a grind. And some days I'm just not feeling it. And I gotta... I gotta get that mentality out of my head if I wanna... If I wanna continue to upload every single day throughout throughout the summer. Because my goal is to continue to upload every single day throughout the summer. And that might be unrealistic, so I might have to change it to every other day. And if that doesn't work out well, then I just want to upload, like, well-edited videos, maybe twice a week... And yeah, do that. But the thing is, the one thing I want to stay consistent on this channel, if I, if the summer gets so busy and I literally can't upload videos, the one thing I want to stay consistent on is I want to keep, I want to keep the podcast every single Sunday. Like, let's say the worst, worst comes worse and I legit can't even get a video up in a week. I'm still going to get the podcast out on Sunday. That's what I'm going to do. And like, oh man, if I'm struggling on uploading, please, please stay, stay with the channel guys, <laughs> please. I'll be back. I'll be back in August at the absolute at the absolute latest, please. <laughs> I'll be back on the grind then, but I, like, I understand if I'm not posting and you guys want to leave. But I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm going to stop posting. I'm going to try to grind. But the thing is, again, I'm going to be like moving back and forth between two houses. I'm thinking pretty regularly. I'm going to be working. There's going to be summer league for sports, camps. Maybe if all that's not canceled, that might all be canceled, I guess. I don't know if that would... Oh, that'd be a rip. My senior, my senior summer. I'm No sporting events, rip. Then again, I don't even I don't even know if I like sporting events in the summer. To be honest, I kind of just like to take the summer off. I don't know. 
Like nowadays, nowadays with high school sports, they just expect you to just grind out the summer. And it, like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't know, man. I just, like, I'm not going any. I'm not going to go to the NBA. I play basketball and track. I'm not going anywhere after after high school. So I kind of just want to enjoy my summer instead of, I don't know, <laughs> instead of going to like some basketball camps. I don't. I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't really like to grind the basketball camps in the summer. I'd rather just be doing my own thing. But nevertheless, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Going between two houses, chances are the Wi-Fi at my lake house is not going to be very nice, so I'm probably not going to be able to live stream out there. I don't, we don't have any gaming consoles out there, so I'm probably going to have to move the PS4 in the Xbox. and all the, I'm going to have to move stuff around all the time. Something might get broke. <laughs> Everything. There's so many problems. There's so many problems that could go wrong this summer. I mean, I'm going to enjoy the summer for sure, for sure. I'm so excited that it's summer. Like, I recently just hit the golf course. Hopefully, I'm not, like, sniffling too much. But, yeah, dude, the golf course. Go. All right. Quick advice to anybody. I suggest that anybody, everybody get into either golf or get into pool, all right? Golf or pool, because you can do both of those sports. Pool's a sport, and golf's a sport. You can do both of those till you're, like, 70. So just get into golf. Golf is golf is so much fun, and pool is also not as fun, but it's, it's great. Pool's great. But, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Where was I at? Pool, golf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I just completely lost my train of thought. It'll come back here though. Like I was talking about moving stuff between houses. It's gonna. Get, I think there's gonna be so many challenges that are gonna face me this summer, and it's gonna be interesting to see how I overcome them. And the thing is, my future self is listening to this right now, already knowing the outcome of what's gonna happen, and I have no clue. I'm I'm completely oblivious, and that's why I love doing this. This is so much fun. Because I'm just going to look back on this and be like, you have no clue what's about to come. And it's so much fun. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try every single day to get a video up. Every single day. And the thing is, all right, the 600 sub special should be coming out tomorrow. All right, if I grind, if the 600 sub special doesn't come out tomorrow on Monday, I'm going to be extremely disappointed in myself. I'll say that right now because I have time after this to edit it. I got all day tomorrow pretty much. I have to like take a math test. That's about it. But I have time to make that. And if that, does the, and if that doesn't come out tomorrow, I'm going to be honest with you guys, that's me being lazy. So if there's no 600 sub special tomorrow, that is all on me because I have time to get that done. So I'm holding myself to that right now. And now I said that, so I have to get it done. But yeah, 600 sub special tomorrow. And what you're going to notice with the editing style, the 600 sub special, is I think you guys really like the like five-minute well-edited videos that I do. And I really, I really do like making those. Like, okay, well, maybe not making them. I really like... It's a love-hate relationship. All right, I like making them, but at the same time, they're so time-consuming. They get boring. I don't like making them, but then I post them, and they do very well, dude. Like the last one has like 250 views and like 40 likes. That's insane. Like, thank you all so much for that. To think that, to think that 40 people liked my video, it's something. Once again, it's something that I've always wanted to have happen. Ever since I was like, ever since I started YouTube in 2013, I wanted people to see my videos, and now that people are seeing my videos, and most of all they're liking them it's it, it honestly just means so much to me it's such it's so rewarding seeing that feedback and i enjoy it so much it's 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 easily the best part of youtube is just seeing seeing the feedback seeing the comments interacting with you guys check out the discord if you want but yeah but anyway that's the well edited videos so the well edited videos do very well on my channel and i appreciate you all so much for like the support you say oh you got some sick edits and stuff i appreciate that 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 really that boosts my confidence and stuff but the thing is, they take so long. <laughs> like some of those well-edited videos can take like ten hours. And if I want to make one of those like every day, other every other day, it's just it's not gonna work out. So what I've decided to do actually is I've decided to instead of like making them really edited, like having an edit like every four seconds, I'm gonna try to expand the video time. So make it like maybe ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes. It's still gonna be me playing zombies. But I'm gonna try to limit the edits, which is something that I've never done before. I don't think. I don't think I've ever made like a 15 minute. It's gonna be kind of more like a, kind of more like a walkthrough type, but with the edits still. It's gonna be interesting because I've never made a video like that. So the thing is, I think once I start editing the video, it's, I'm gonna be able to not resist putting in edits because I'll be like, there should be an edit here. But then I'll second guess myself. I'll be like, no, that'll take too much time. I can't do that now. Which might sound lazy, but to be honest, guys, if I want to continue to upload like zombies videos for you all. And I want to keep posting videos. I don't want to become known as a live streamer. I mean, live streams are so much fun, dude. Live streams are really fun, and they're really easy. But I don't really get any... Like, no one wants to watch a live stream back. No one wants... Once they're posted, like, very few will watch a live stream. And it just... It's not as it's not as rewarding as finishing a video and having you guys watch those. But what I'm doing is I'm going to, like, put up, like, 10, 15 minutes of gameplay with it. Just not no edits, but there's going to be less edits so I can edit it quicker and save time. 
and you guys, it'll be a longer video. So if you guys want longer videos, hopefully, hopefully that'll please you, because <laughs> I'm gonna go for like 15 minutes on it, and hopefully my Wi-Fi can upload that quickly. That might take like a 15 minute video. Let's see, what does it take right now? A five minute video takes like close to an hour to upload. So ooh, is, it, is it gonna be like three and a half, four hours to upload a 15 minute video? That's terrible. I think I don't. I think that might be about what it is. So yeah, that's difficult. Like I might have to start uploading them overnight and then scheduling them for the next day if I'm that prepared, which is something else I don't need to have. I need to have a schedule for you guys. I'm so, I'm so sorry that my channel, I need to have a schedule, but like, okay. The only things I have scheduled now that I know for sure I can do is a podcast every Sunday, which I'm getting out to you guys right now, which I waited till 3 19 PM to get done, which I got to get these done recorded on Saturday. But anyway, it's 3 19 PM right now. I got the podcast on Sunday. And I got the top five on Friday. And that, those are like the only guaranteed videos throughout the week, I think. The podcast and the top five. That's all I got right now. Those are the those are the only two formats of videos that I know I can upload every single... On that day, on Friday, on Sunday, I know I can upload one of these. Those are the only two types of videos I know that I got done. Because the rest is just... Like, I don't really know. I want to make a schedule, but I don't really know. I can't stick to it because there's so many factors that go into it. Like, first of all, my setup is terrible. So there could be days when my brother, I don't know, is just screaming in the background, riding his hoverboard around, dribbling a basketball. And then there's other days where I'll plan something, plan not to do something, but then I'll have time to make a video. And it's just, there's so many factors that go in it. It's so difficult. And I don't know if a schedule is ever really going to happen on my channel. Like, ever. Okay, I probably shouldn't say ever. It's probably going to happen someday if I keep grinding. But right now, it's just... It's just difficult. It's very difficult. It's, it's just random. I know you guys are random. I know you guys are always asking in the Discord, when does the stream start? When is the video coming out? And the thing is, I don't know. And then I usually just announce the streams like 15 minutes before I do them, and you guys are just disappointed. And everybody's like, well, we're streaming. I missed it. And I was like, I'm sorry, but just... <sighs> usually I just... I don't know when conditions are going to be right. And when I realize that conditions are right, I just go for it and I just start making a video. Or I just start the live stream. So a schedule is something that I want someday. But I might never be able to achieve that because it's just, there's, I just don't know. My setup is just sitting in the basement where there's a lot of background noise and stuff. So I have to, like, when I make videos, it's dependent on when everybody else in the family is quiet. And so, yeah, that's where I'm at with the schedule because I know people want me to make a schedule, but I, I legitimately, just, I, I can't make a set schedule. All I know is that I can get a top five out and a podcast. That's it. But yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. And it's going to be, it's going to be so interesting to see how I adjust because, man, if I if I can't get any videos up in a week, I'm going to be so disappointed. I'm going to be so disappointed. Ugh. Like, I feel like I'm sounding very negative. I'm making it sound like I plan on not uploading, but don't worry, guys. Like, maybe I could be completely wrong. Maybe the summer is going to be easy. Maybe I'll get even more time to make videos because right now school's kind of taking up time. School is the only other thing that's taking up my time to make videos, to be honest. That's, that's legitimately everything else that I have to do is school. But uh, farming lake house like there's literally a week out of the summer where we just go over to the lake and like how am i going to get videos ready for a week that is that's so many videos to prepare but i want to keep this upload schedule ready and i think if i want to keep uploading every day kind of the quality of the videos is going to have to go down which is something that i really hurts to say because i don't want to do that because i know what i'm doing right now is working and it's gonna it's gonna hurt to change things up because then it might break but hopefully we can just keep growing. Hopefully we can keep, just keep growing. I think, what did we have? 500 and maybe 71 subs the last time I did this. And now we're at 681, something like that, which means we've gained 100 subs in a week. And if I can keep that growth up, okay, I'm not going to say if I can keep that up forever because here's the deal. Last time I said if I could keep like one to two subs every day up forever, I'm not happy with that today. If, I don't, if I'm only getting one to two subs a day, I'm not happy with it. So if I could keep that up for a couple of weeks here, just getting, getting 110 subs a week, that's incredible and I appreciate everybody who comes by the channel and subscribes and comments and likes it's just so much fun dude it's so much fun and the thing is there's the reason I know that I'm gonna I'm gonna I know I'm gonna upload you guys because here's the thing I know I'm gonna get uploads in in the week because again it comes back to why why did I do YouTube why did I start doing a YouTube channel and it's literally just because I make videos for fun I make videos because if I don't make videos I'm gonna get extremely bored I already know that like that's what happened last year. I waited an entire year when I should have. I should have started this channel. This channel should already be one year older than it is. Like, but I waited an extra year for some reason, and I got really bored. And then I was like, let's just let's just start up this this YouTube channel that I started a while back. 
and see how that goes. And I'm just going to grind it out. Because the thing is about with my old channel, I never actually grinded it out. I just, I uploaded every now and then, but I never grinded. And with Smitty, I finally just, Smitty058, I finally just decided, all right, I'm just going to put my head down and grind. Because to be honest, I always thought, I always thought with my old channel and like my editing, I always thought that I had a chance to draw attention to my channel and get a few subs and get a nice community going. And it feels really good to see that happening now. Like 681 subs. The most I had before this was, was 570. Holy crap, we've already gained 110 subs since that. Which is crazy because I already smashed that goal out of the park in eight weeks. And to see just, ah, oh, this nice community, it's just so, it's so refreshing, it's so rewarding. And you guys, like, I can play Minecraft, I can play zombies, and you guys will understand, and you guys will watch. The live stream had, like, 26 people watching last night, which is crazy for our Wither boss fight. Even though it was really laggy and was kind of anticlimactic because the Withers just flew way up in the sky. And we didn't even kill, like, two of them, but we killed, we killed two other ones. Two lived, two died, I think. And then, like, here, I'll pull up, I'll pull up some of my channel stuff. All right, so the 500 subscriber well-edited video has 283 views and 42 likes. That's incredible. That's a six and a half minute video that probably took me like 10 hours to make. And to see it get that much support, that's what keeps me going. That's that's what keeps me going. That's why I upload every single day. And then I had the fastest cobblestone generator ever, which is definitely not my most well-made video. That is 31 likes and 220 views. Like right now, my goals, I'd say my goals are about, about 30 likes a video. If I can keep that up, I think top five perks. 160 views, 32 likes. Let's go, dude. Oh my god. You guys are literally killing the support on these videos, and I appreciate it so much. Like, it's gotten to the point where if like if I like set a video to premiere, people will actually watch, they'll wait for the premiere sometimes. Like one or two people will. But that's just something crazy. Because here's the deal. Back when I started this channel, way back, hold up. Way back, way back. I'm saying way back, and it's actually like eight weeks ago. Okay, hold on. Some of these videos back here have like four view, four likes and like 60 views. This Roblox video has 60 views and seven likes. So to see how far I've come from in two months, dude, thank you all so much. It's so rewarding. It's so refreshing. And I always, I'm going to be honest, deep down, I always had this, this feeling that I had the potential to make videos that people would watch. And again, it's coming true. And that it's just, it's so much fun because it's like making videos is something I just, I see myself I don't know. I just, I don't ever want to stop making videos. I don't understand. Like, if this YouTube channel dies, I'm still going to be making videos on it. I don't really care. Oh, that's the thing, dude. Like, I think that's the thing between me, because, like, here's the deal. A lot of people nowadays just, they just, like, start YouTube channels to make money, and they just, and they'll start uploading their videos. They'll stay on the grind. But then if nobody shows up to their videos, because their, their main goal is just to make money. So if nobody shows up to their videos, they're just going to, they're just going to stop. And they're they're just gonna be done, but for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on the grind. If people are gonna show up to my videos, that's awesome. But then if there ever comes a day when people stop showing up to my videos, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making videos just because I do it for the fun. I legit just like making videos. Maybe maybe my videos entertain myself. I don't even know. I I usually don't even watch my videos back all that much because I don't know because I've seen them like ten thousand times in editing. But that's the thing, dude. That's the thing. That's that's why I do it. Cause I'm gonna keep doing it. Like I I don't see me ending making videos anytime in the future. I just like I at least have to make a video a month if it ever comes down to that. If nobody watches my videos anymore, if something like that happens, I'm at least gonna be making once a month just because there's there's so much fun and I literally <laughs> I look at them as like my life's work. My life's work so far. All the videos that I've ever made. Cause let's see, how old am I? I'm 17. Like I haven't graduated yet, so I can't call that my life's work. My life's work is school. Like I don't have a family or kids, so that I mean, that's not my life's work. But I've got I've got multiple YouTube channels with a lot of videos that I really I'm really happy that I made. And like a lot of us, all right, a lot of us have these. A lot of us have those old cringy channels that we made with a bunch of cringy videos on them. And if anybody pulled them up, we'd be embarrassed. But I'm telling you, I have that channel too. I have that channel too. And I'm just telling you, don't delete those videos. Don't delete your old cringy videos. Okay, like. I don't even care how cringy they are. If they're literally just you sitting down and singing, parodying, making a parody of a song, singing. Like, I have, like, three videos of me doing that in the past on old channels. And I don't care. I don't care because that shows the old me. Just leave it out there, dude. It's so fun to see your old self. And I, just, I, I say this, like, every time. Just use, use the power of the internet to look back on your younger self. It's so incredible. But I just can't stress that enough. Just do it. Maybe that's just me who has this fascination with, with my past self and being able to look back. But I, don't know, I just think I just legit think that's so cool. Like, 
like when I started like freshman year of high school, I started, I recorded a video on the first day of school to like say my future plans for until I was a senior. Like I did that on the first day and I haven't watched that video in a long time, but I, I have it somewhere. It's on my computer somewhere. And then sophomore year, I did the same thing. Then junior, I don't know if I did this year, which is kind of a big rip, but nevertheless, I have a video of me freshman year ask like talking to my senior self about what I want to do by the time I'm a senior. And yeah, it's awesome that I did that. That was such a good idea. I'm so happy that I did that. Because now here we are. Now I'm going to see if I if I lived up to those dreams or if I let my younger self down. But yeah, that's where we're at, dude. That is where we're at. Thank you all for stay, sticking with me if you're still in here 26 minutes in. <sighs> yeah, dude. Just don't just do not do YouTube for the money, dog. Because then you're, you just have, you're, if your main motivation is money, and if you're not getting money, you're just going to quit. If your main motivation is just it's fun, then every time you make a video, every time you make, you're going to have that motivation to, to have fun by making videos. So you're not going to stop making videos. And I'm not going to stop... <laughs> Like legit, like whatever I do with my life, I just want to somehow incorporate videos into it. I don't know, man. I just, have, I don't know. Videos are just so much fun to make. Like I would be like a movie editor or something, but then I feel like I'd be told what to do. And I don't really want to have someone tell me how to edit my videos. I kind of just like my own, doing my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it just comes back, it just comes back to my main goal in life. I just want to, I want to entertain people. I want to make people's days better. Uh, entertainment, helping people. If I could like develop a new technology i don't i'm very fascinated with technology and stuff so if i could someday develop a new be like tesla develop a new car if i could develop a new a new console <laughs> if i could just develop something new, if i can entertain people that, that's all i want dude and if you guys watch my videos and leave a like i count that as me entertaining you at least and joining the streams and that's just it's one of my goals and i seriously appreciate it so much which is why i say thank you so much but like legit i i appreciate you guys and like if anybody's listening to this podcast right now i appreciate you thanks for listening this far and it's epic and I appreciate the support on everything. And if, it's just so good to finally have a nice small community. A nice small community that, that, that watches my stuff. It's epic. So yeah, that's that. Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just going through my notes right now to see where I'm at. Live streams, live streams. Yeah, I just covered like 60, 60 notes in that much time, but... Yeah, dude, it comes back to me. I'm going to be doing... Would you guys be interested in walkthroughs? Like, we have the video suggestions on Discord. We have video suggestions on Discord, and I, I see you guys with the suggestions. I haven't done a single suggestion from the Discord yet, which I know I will get on that. Don't worry, I'll do one big video where I do a lot of suggestions. I'll get on that. I see I see the suggestions. Those will be coming. So I know what at least one of you guys likes, but I don't know if you guys are going to like walkthroughs. Like walkthroughs of a, or playthroughs of a video game. And again, it comes back to getting, like, getting a face cam, dude. Like, I need to upgrade... I need to upgrade my, my setup so much because I think a face cam would just add so much more value to my videos and make them so much more entertaining. But I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get a face cam. Well, I, someday I will. Someday I will. It's one of those goals. You know, I'm just the person I set goals. And when I have a big goal that I want, I'm going to achieve it some somehow, some way. The time is I just don't know when I'm going to achieve it. And the thing with the face cam is I know I'm going to get it someday, but I don't know when. And it's just like that. And I can tell if I have a goal that I'm going to achieve. And a face cam is definitely something I'm going to get someday. And then disappoint you guys when I don't look anything like what you want me to. I'm legit. I'd say my face is pretty generic. <laughs> brown hair, brown eyes. I don't know. A person. Yeah. But yeah. The face The face reveal should be coming eventually. The thing is, I don't know when, but I'm going to reach that goal of getting a face cam eventually. And we're going to do a face reveal. And hopefully I don't disappoint you guys. And then I'm going to start doing reaction videos maybe. Because like reaction videos could be interesting. And they wouldn't be that hard to make. Because Dova, like, yeah, Dova told me, go react to Watch Mojo's top top 10 zombie list. And I was like, that'd be hilarious. So, yeah, dude. So, the dream is we get we get a face cam. And I can do playthroughs. I can do well-edited videos. I can do live streams. I can do podcasts. I can do I can do anything. And you guys will enjoy it. And that's, that's, that's the goal of the channel. Like, my old goals of the channel was I could just play any game in the world. And you guys would enjoy it. But I think... Or I wanted to make this a place where everybody could just come vibe, unite all the gaming communities. And as I'm going on, I'm realizing, like, I don't really want to do that anymore. I don't really want to play a million different games and bring all the communities together. I don't want that to be my goal, my main goal anymore. Like, that's a fun goal if I could bring communities together. But the thing is, some of those games I don't like making. And I just had this and I just had this feeling down down inside that I needed to make a video on a different game. Like Mortal Kombat. I made a video on that and nobody really watched it, nobody really cared. But I just had this feeling that I want to unite all these communities, so let's just make a Mortal Kombat video, even though like nobody asked for that, nobody wanted it. 
and I didn't even have a fun time making it, to be honest. I didn't have a fun time editing that video. And then I made, I made it like, I tried a Fortnite live stream that lasted like five minutes before people were like, go play Minecraft. <laughs> so this whole thing of uniting all the gaming communities, like maybe it's possible, but I don't really want, I just don't enjoy playing all these different games. And I just want to play the two main games that I enjoy right now, which is zombies and Minecraft. And hopefully... Hopefully at the end of the year we get Black Ops Five, and if Black Ooh, Black Ops Five, dude, Black Ops Five could oh, okay again. All those YouTubers just have that time span where their channels just blow up. What if like Black Ops Five? I just hit Black Ops Five hard, and it just brings a whole bunch of whole bunch of attention to the channel, and my channel just blows up, dude. Oh my god, dude! If I ever have a like a huge huge channel, that would be that's like the ultimate goal but yeah dude I, I i'm happy where i'm at i'm completely fine where i'm at i'm so happy i'm so happy dude like i have subs that i can play with i just played with, with my uk friends earlier today vx and dukin and i was like hey this is fun and then is carlos wanted to play with me like i just love having a small community because it's so much fun because the thing about a small community as compared to a, like a large youtubers community in the small community, I can I literally know like all you guys. Like I know VX Duke and I know Dopa Snipes. I know Thaws. Like I know all you guys who watch my videos and leave comments. And in a big community, like the big creator just doesn't know all of his viewers, which which is understandable because I mean you're not gonna know millions of people. But it's just, it's just something special. Small communities are just something special, dude. They're fun to be a part of. I think. I hope you guys enjoy my channel and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's where I'm at, dude, but hopefully Black Ops 5, or whatever it's called, it might be just Call of Duty Black Ops, or whatever, I think that might just be restarting, or whatever you call that, but whatever the new Call of Duty is, first of all, hopefully it comes out, because they may not, like, finish it because of coronavirus, which would be tough, hopefully they finish it, oh, that'd be, oh, no, because this might be, like, the last COD I get it, if it's terrible, I'm just, honestly, though, now that I started the grind on YouTube, I can't really, I kind of have to get all the CODs, if I'm still going in two years from now, but this, Okay, here's the thing. If Black Ops Five sucks or whatever the COD is this year, if it sucks, then they just gotta they just gotta take a year off and just wait a year to make make the new COD. Because okay, Modern Warfare is not a bad game. I, Modern Warfare is not a bad game. I don't think, even though I don't play it that much. But I don't know, man. COD has just been it's kind of just been feeling old. It's kind of just been getting old. It's kind of getting stale. They just gotta they just gotta take a year off if the next one sucks and make a really good game, which they won't do because that that'll make them lose a lot of money. But they should do it for the community. But yeah, if Black, when Black Ops 5 comes out in hopefully November, October, we're going to hit that game hard and we're going to try to bring a whole bunch of new people into the channel. And if that can happen, that'd be awesome because Zombies is zombies is that game. Like, when it comes to YouTube, yeah, I agree with what the Smith Play said. So the Smith Play said on this, he's like, I wouldn't call myself a gamer. He just uses video games. Like, he doesn't like the video game part so much. He just likes the part where he can he can use the video games and use the content from the video games to entertain people. So he's really an entertainer. But it's more of... It's not as much gaming as it is video making and entertaining. And I agree with that. Because here's the thing. Like, really the only time when I play games is to record footage. That's that's really about it. Like, I'm, I'm obviously a gamer. But... Because if I'm playing a game, game and I'm not recording the footage, I just kind of get bored. I'm like, oh, I'm missing out on stuff for now. I should be recording this so I can make a video out of it. So I'm not like a huge into playing games all day. I just I just get my footage, and then I go edit it for the rest of the day. So I, I'm into editing all day, which is a lot less fun than playing games all day. But yeah, that's how I feel. Like I feel like if I'm just playing games, I'm just wasting time. I got to get a video done instead of playing games. But yeah, I agree with what the Smith Place said there. It's that's that's kind of how it is. I really relate to that. Like, it's not the video games. It's it's using the video games to entertain people. Like, I just want to entertain people. And if it's through video games, I'm going to do that. If it's through another method, I'll do that. But right now it's video games. And right now it's zombies, which is zombies of Minecraft, which is two of my favorite games. And I just love that I'm able to do that and not, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of happy I'm not, like, a part of the Fortnite community. Like, no hate on the Fortnite community, but I don't know. That's just, there's just something weird about that community. I don't, I don't really know what it is. Like, it's not bad, but... I don't know, I'm just glad to be part of the Zombies community because, dude, all of our Zombies community friends, we've all just grown up together. Yeah, that's what I see. Fortnite's just a couple years old, whereas Zombies, all like many of us go like 10 years back, and we've just been grinding this game since we were young, and we have so much nostalgia for it. And it's just something special to be part of the Zombies community. It's so incredible. And it's so much fun. Like, I could play any Zombies map, any Call of Duty Zombies map, because they're I like all of them just because simply because it's Zombies content at this point. Just because it's Zombies, I can play it like not any time of the day, but I don't really know. I can just play them, and I'll be like, yeah, you want to play this map? I'll be like, sure, I'm down. Like, the only thing is if I played it, like, 
a day ago, I might be sick of it. But nevertheless, I will play like any zombies map and like Black Ops 4 Zombies, I haven't played in like a year, so I think it'd be a fun series if I go back into Black Ops 4 Zombies because I never played Dead of the Night or Ancient Evil or Tagged or Tone. I never played the last Call of Duty Zombies map ever. Like, Ether, e- Aether, Ether, Storyline, Aether. And that's so sad, dude, because I remember I was all hyped up for the ending, and then I knew, learned it was a Call of the Dead remake, and I was just sad. And I downloaded the map, and I never even played it. I just watched the YouTubers finish it, which is a big rip, dude. I really missed out. Like, looking back on Black Ops 4 Zombies, it wasn't good. But people are saying the maps were good. Like, I think Dead of the Night is the one that people like from Black Ops 4, I think. And I never played it. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to literally, I'm going to play that someday with probably Dova or something. For like the 700 sub special, by the way, Dova. That's what I'm kind of planning on doing if you're listening. But you might not be listening to this. But yeah, Black Ops 4 Zombies. I, I'm pro- in, in preparation of Black Ops 5, I'll probably just grind Black Ops 4 Zombies. Because that's going to be so much fun. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Zombies is, zombies is an awesome community. I would suggest everybody... Just get back into zombies. And we're coming back to the zombies community is coming back. Lexify, Mr. Dalek, the Smith plays. All we need is Milo, everybody. If Mr. Rough Waffles comes back, we're set. Noah J will come back, man. Everybody will come back. And we're gonna be we're gonna be back and vibing. Like I don't know if anything will beat the 2016 days. Those 2016 days were something else, dude. Black Ops 3, Zombie Chronicles, Easter Eggs for Charity, Z House. Oh my god, dude. 2016 was something else. 2016 zombies. 2016 is the, was the best year of my life, for sure, dude. Like, look at everything that happened in 2016. We had Z House. We had the first Z House, which was awesome. We had Zombie. We had Easter Eggs for Charity, which was incredible. Zombie Chronicles came out in 2017. Wait, no, it came out. Yeah, it came out in 2017, I think. Maybe we had Zombie Chronicles in 2016. I don't think so. But we had Black Ops 3 DLC season. I was in eighth grade. I did my best academically in 2016. In 2016, the Warriors blew blew the 3 to 1 lead, lead. The Chicago Cubs won the World Series, coming back down 3 to 1. There's like a million other things that happened too. I just can't think of them. Like one day I legit went into my notes. I thought to myself, 2016 really was the best year ever of my life. And I just I just started writing down reasons as to why 2016 was so epic. And I kind of lost that in my notes. I don't know if it's there anymore. But I wrote down so many reasons. So for sports, it was great. For gaming, it was great. For school, it was great. My basketball team was vibing back in eighth grade. We were really good. We went like 15 and three, I think. We lost like two games at the last meet at the last scrim- or jamboree. But... Yeah, 2016 was my best year. I don't know about you guys, but I love that year. Oh, bottle flipping was a thing. Dabbing was a thing. I don't care. Dabbing might be cringe, but dabbing when it was a thing, it was just epic, man. 2016, dude. Who won the Super Bowl in 2016? Hey, Siri. Who won the Super Bowl in 2016? Carolina was defeated by Denver in the Super Bowl. Oh, and the Broncos beat them. My mom loves the Broncos, dude. And the Broncos won the Super Bowl. 2016 was the best year for sports, hands down. Curry was going off in 2016, and then he got beat. And the Warriors came back down 3-1 to Oklahoma. 2016, best year ever, no cap. Like, everybody, like, I don't know what your, y'all's favorite year is. 2016 was so good, though, we gotta admit. Oh my, that was an incredible year. I don't even know if there was for music. Like, what was there? Swang? <laughs> that was my 2016 music. But yeah. I just had to go on that little tour in 2016, 2016 rant because that's how it is. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, we're 38 minutes in already. <laughs> that's quick. This has actually been going by quick. Like, these do sometimes go by pretty slow, but this one's been going by a little quicker. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I don't know. I'm just talking about the future of my channel. That's that's really all it is. It's just about my channel. Yeah, because things are going to change. once. I, like I said, summer is coming. Summer is basically already here. Like, And things are going to change. And hopefully I can continue to upload every single day, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to be disappointed if I don't upload at least every other day. And yeah, I've been sounding really negative. Like, I plan on not uploading every other day, but I'm going to try. I, right now, I plan on doing that. It's going to happen, all right? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I could be overreacting. Summer might not present any challenges for me to upload videos, but it, it, it looking at what's ahead of me, it probably will, unfortunately. So just remember, come back for the podcast every Sunday, because that's where you will for sure get the latest updates. And yeah... <laughs> the video making process i have how i make my videos in here but i don't really think you guys really care much about that i okay the thing about the video making process all right so i get like an hour and all right let's see what's the, the longest video i've ever edited it was like maybe like an hour and a half game we'll just say it's okay it's an hour and 10, 15 minute game on on gorod Kroby doing the easter egg we'll just say we'll just use this as an example it's not like i'm doing this right now all right so let's get an hour and 15 on gorod Kroby. You have just this whole hour and 15 minutes of you playing. You're talking like every 10 seconds. What I do is I first just go through it. It's the worst part of editing a video. I skim out. 
and I just trim out all the parts where I'm not talking. I just trim it down to the parts where I say stuff. And then that brings it down to like 20, 30 minutes, which is really a lot when you think about it. That takes off like an hour, like 40 minutes. And then once I have me just talking, then I just take out all the stupid stuff I said, and then I just find the interesting parts. And it's such a painful process, finding the interesting parts. And I usually bring it down to like eight or nine minutes. So cutting, the worst part about making a video is definitely cutting like an hour and 15 minutes of film down to like nine minutes. And then from there, I just start grinding the edits out. And that's the process that I really hate doing. It's so boring. Just at finding the important parts of the video. And it's because it's like, you'll say something like every 10 seconds in the in the footage for an hour and you have to find the important things you think you said. And it's, it's not a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, really, it's really not a lot of fun. But yeah. That's pretty much how I make my videos. And then I use iMovie. The thing about iMovie is like I should upgrade and get a better video editing software like Final Cut Pro or something. That's like 300 bucks, first of all. But I don't, I don't really want to change just because I know iMovie so well. Like if there's anything anybody wants to do on iMovie, I could probably figure out how to do it. Some things I know that I can't do, but I could pretty much do anything. Like, and I just really, I'm so happy that I have iMovie figured out because I've been doing it for like seven years. So I have that that software completely, completely figured out. And I would like some updates with like the text and stuff, but I don't know if they care about iMovie anymore. But it is a good service, nevertheless. And it's free if you have a Mac, which is why I use it. And I just don't really want to change because people don't like change, even though most of the time change is good for people. And I think I should change, but I don't really want to pay 300 bucks for a new editing software, even though the only reason I would be doing that is to save me time. Like I can do everything I want on iMovie right now. If I got a new editing software, it would simply just be to, to save time, to hopefully make it quicker. Because iMovie, it's kind of hard to like add a whole bunch of overlays. It takes a lot of time. So yeah, it, that's the only bad part about iMovie is yeah, overlays, but I don't really know if you guys would understand that if I started talking about it, if you don't use iMovie. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's how I make my videos. Let's see what else do I need. My new channel goal, Zombies, Minecraft, and the Podcast. Healthy Balance. That's all I got in my notes. Zombies, Minecraft, Podcast, Healthy Balance. Those are the three things I want to do. I want to make Zombies content, Minecraft content, and I want to do a podcast. And I want to have there be a healthy balance between those three things, like equal number of zombies videos, equal number of Minecraft videos a week, and then of course the podcast on Sunday. So that's that's the big that's the big goal, to just keep doing these three things. And I remember, yeah, like I said, I wanted to get do multiple different games and just upload anything, and you guys would you guys would care. But then it came down to me just not enjoying playing other games. Minecraft and zombies are all I want to play. I don't want to play Mortal Kombat. I don't want to play what other game did I play? I played a different game. I don't want, I don't really want to play Fortnite. There was another game I. Roblox, I, I do like playing Roblox. I might limit the Roblox videos, but I haven't made one of those in like a month already. But Roblox Roblox is a fun game. It's kind of underrated. And that comes back to the Xbox One only having two things on the PS4, which are big things. But it's the only thing the Xbox One did better than the PS4 is it's got backwards compatibility. I could play all the old CODs, which is incredible. That is a huge feature, to be honest. That's huge. Like, that's actually insane how big that is, how big of a feature that is. That helps the Xbox a lot. That's the only reason I got an Xbox was to play Black Ops 2 and other old CODs. So that helps that helps the Xbox a lot. And then it's got Roblox, which is which is a lot of fun. But <laughs> other than that, the Xbox One is an absolutely terrible console. Like it's awful. I'm very disappointed how bad it is. But like half the time half the time I'll try to start an app and it I'll start try to start a game and it just won't even let me. It'll just give me an error message and it'll say try again later. And when it says try again later, it really means try again in like an hour and then it'll work. And it's it's disappointing. But yeah, I want to do a good balance of Zombies, Minecraft, and the podcast. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job of that right now. <sighs> yeah, because like, the only Zombies videos I really post, wow, my, my ankle just cracked right there. You probably heard that. That was kind of loud. <laughs> the only Zombies video I post for like my subscriber specials, and I want to start changing that a little bit. And again, my goal is to try to change up the channel. But again, it's going to be tough to change. People don't like change. And if I change things up, things might not work as well for me because things are currently going so well. Gaining like 100 subs a week, which is huge. That's our goal. Last podcast I went over, I want to gain 12 subs a day, and I think I've been doing that this week, which is awesome. If we want to hit 1,000 before the end of May, which will hopefully happen. Oh, my God, dude. 1,000 subs, four digits. That's incredible. And then also YouTube will start rounding my sub count, which is kind of sad. I really hate that they did that. I don't think anybody likes that. But I think they did that because everybody was just like so interested in people's sub counts like the PewDiePie versus T series there were people who would just watch huge live streams 
of the PewDiePie versus T-Series subs, sub count. We were all just so interested in it. And then they changed it in the James Charles and Tati controversy. And it was, it was good stuff. It was a lot of fun. And then YouTube came and ruined it like all big corporations do. And they just, they started rounding off numbers. So now instead of saying like 1,130 subs, it'll say like 1.13, which is just not the same. It's not the same, but it is what it is. And hopefully I can do that. And yeah. Yeah. Help get the healthy balance in. keep getting 12 subs a day. That's a grind. Let's keep that up. I'm very happy if I get 12 subs a day at this point. I still haven't, like, 12 subs is still great for me. Like, back when I said 1 and 2 was good, that's not good for me anymore. I want 12. That's That make me, that might make me sound greedy. Like, thank you to the two people who joined, but at the end of the day, I still think I can bring in 12 people a day. And, yeah, I don't want. I didn't want to sound greedy there. That, might have, that kind of came off wrong, I think. But, yeah, 45 minutes, 33 seconds in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you all are staying safe. I wonder what your guys' coronavirus situation is because I'm just, again, I'm from a very small community, so I can just walk around, hit the golf course like I did today, do whatever I want, really. Yeah. And I don't know what you guys can do. Like, I was talking to my friends from the UK. I was playing zombies with them on Dreisendrock today because I'm trying to play Dreisendrock to see if I like that map because I'm thinking about making a Dreisendrock video soon, maybe critiquing the map. And I'm playing it to try and see if I enjoy it or not. And to be honest, I don't really know. It's still kind of the same for me. It, it kind of gets old, but... I was talking to them and they were like, yeah, we can't even, we can't even like leave our houses. Like they let us leave our house for like 40 minutes for exercise. And I was like, who enforces that? How do they, how do they know you've left your house for 40 minutes? But yeah, so they're from the UK and they like can't even leave their houses, which is extremely unfortunate. And I'm just, I'm just from that small community, just five and <laughs> doing my thing. And yeah, summer's coming, everybody. Summer is coming. And I hope we all have uh, good summers. Hopefully this coronavirus thing kind of stops when it gets warm out. Hopefully... Hopefully things get better. I mean, it's been, has it been two weeks already? When did this start? It's already been like two weeks since we've, March, April. Yeah. It's been like two weeks since we went to lockdown, or two months. Not quite, since we went to lockdown, maybe like a month and a half. And it would just feel so nice to go back to real life, I think. I think all of us would like that. That'd be so useful, dude. It's just, it's been such an interesting year, dude. It's been so interesting. Like, I remember, oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. I was reflecting. I was listening to the second podcast I did with, or the first podcast, I guess, with Matt Nacho. And in that video, the first thing we brought up was the coronavirus. That was back at, like, the end of February, maybe. And I was like, hey, did you hear that the NBA just canceled their season? And Matt or, Matt or Nacho, they were like, yeah, because of the coronavirus. But is it really that big of a deal? And the question is, is the coronavirus, coronavirus really still that big of a deal today? I don't really know. But nevertheless, it was a big enough deal where everybody kind of went into went into chaos and we all just locked everything down. So it was a big deal. And reflecting on that, it's so funny because at the time, we're not thinking it's a very big deal. And we all took it very seriously. And now here we are today. It's The world is so much different than it was two two months ago. And it's it's very unfortunate, but it's where we're at. And we got to get through it together. So yeah, stay on the grind. Stay safe, everybody. And yeah, do the, do the suggested things, I guess. <laughs> stay safe. <sighs> yeah, dude. Yeah, just thank you all so much for your support. And, and again, if you're still listening, epic. <laughs> That's incredible. I hope these podcasts, I don't know where my fascination with, like, I just, I'm fascinated by some things. I was fascinated by making videos. And I just started listening to the Smith Squad podcast one day. And I was just fascinated with the idea of starting a podcast. And again, I'm just that person. If I have a goal, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. But when am I going to do it? I had the goal to make a YouTube channel. I made a YouTube channel. And then my goal is to grind that YouTube channel and gain subs. And I waited like a year, but then I started doing that. And now and then my goal is to start a podcast. And then I started that. And I'm just so happy that I'm following through with these ideas that I get. And it's it's just epic. I, I really I really enjoy doing it. It's so much fun. What's my next big goal though? What is my next big goal that I think I'm gonna achieve? What is my next big goal? Hold up. Hold up. A face cam is one for sure. Yeah, a face cam. That's so that's one of the big goals that I know is gonna happen someday, but when is it gonna happen? A thousand subs. I, I know that's going to happen someday, but when is it going to happen? And then the ultimate goal is I see myself getting like a large following, I think, someday. Like that's one of my goals, just to put it out there and be honest. Like I hope I have like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. Does that sound out? Of, does that sound like too much for you guys? I don't know. I feel like I have the potential to do that. I don't want to sound really cocky right now, but I honestly feel like I kind of have the potential to do that. And I just, I don't know. See, I just don't like to 
hype myself up like this because I'm just the type of person I just don't want to start beef with somebody if somebody's listening and they're like oh this guy thinks he's just this guy thinks he's the stuff so he's yeah I don't know I just don't like to talk big about myself and act like I'm just the best thing ever I'm not I'm not the best thing ever at all I'm pretty I'm just I'm just decent I don't know but I just see myself I have the potential to gain like ten tens of thousands I hope I think like again if I could just make like one video that hits the YouTube search algorithm that brings people into my channel to see the content I make, that would be huge. That would be epic. Someday that's gonna happen, dude. I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the search algorithm and like I'm gonna make a video and people aren't even gonna search for it and it's gonna show up. You always have those recommended videos, people are like, I didn't even search for this and it just showed up. I want one of my videos. That's one of my goals. I wanna have a video do that someday where people don't even search for it and it just shows up and recommend it or it hits it hits trending. <laughs> you have to have a lot of subs. You either have to be ESPN or a late night host hit trending. That's about it. Or be like a news organization, CBS. Yeah, the, the trending page is stupid nowadays. Nobody really cares about that anymore. But the recommended page—that's where we got to be hitting hard. But because YouTube's not helping me out, man, they're not going to help their small creators out at all. Oh, and it's also very difficult because there is a larger YouTube creator named like Smitty, except it's like S M I seven seven Y. So if you type in Smitty, his name's pop. His name pops up. So I don't really know what I'm going to do there because I don't know. Is there a case where there's two big YouTubers with the same name? I don't really know like very close to the same name so I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to grow my YouTube channel huge like like what like I want to if if I have a similar name to somebody else so I might have to change my name my cha my channel name at some point but that would that's a long ways away <laughs> let's just keep grinding where we're at I'm super happy like I don't want to sound like I'm not happy with what I got I'm so happy with what I got this is so much better than I ever had it right now with these 681 people who will watch my videos and leave likes it's better than I've ever had it and I'm so appreciative that I have this opportunity to play with subs to live stream to you guys like legit, I think I could have had some donations at this point if I turned donations on, but I don't see any point in donating to me yet. Like my content is not that good. <laughs> you don't need to donate to me. So I don't have a donation button. That reason, and because my, my Mac can't handle donations because they just, they're too much for my little MacBook Pro and my Wi-Fi, which is why I do my, my I, need a, I need a setup upgrade for sure, dude. That's one of the big goals. I want to get a good setup someday. I want to get a good setup. I want to I wanna have a video hit recommended. And I want to grow. I want to grow big because it's always just been, it's always just been something I wanted to do is just have have a YouTube channel that's active and a lot of people, and I'm doing it for the fun. So I'm just gonna keep making videos no matter what happens. Like if I don't hit these goals, I'm still gonna keep making videos. Cause, yeah, is my goal to make money someday? And like my goal is definitely to make a little bit of money off YouTube videos at some point. Like I can't lie, but I'm never gonna be doing it just to make money off you guys. <laughs> like that's like I don't want you guys to donate to me because I don't think my content's that good. Like my content's good enough to be free. And if I ever start making money off YouTube, even if it's like two bucks a month, that's going to feel really rewarding because it's going to feel like all this hard work that I put into my old channel, this channel, all that practice, all that hard work, all the hours put into the videos, it's finally going to be paying off. And whether that's into like a paycheck that's like three bucks, like if they even give out paychecks that small, I'll be like, hey, I'm happy with this, dude. I am so happy where I'm at. Like I finally hit one of my goals. I can make content that people will enjoy enough, enough entertainment where I can make money off of it. And that would just, that'd be huge. Not like not like living, like a living amount of money, like enough to support myself. That is a long ways away. But hey, I think in a thousand subs you're eligible for monetization, which is incredible. Like we're not even that far away. And yeah, even talking about this stuff makes me feel so selfish, dude. I feel it. Ugh, I just I don't like talking about it because I feel like people just think. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm happy. I'm so happy where I'm at, dude. I'm happy. And that's that's what I hope for myself to be happy. I hope you guys are happy. I hope I just want everybody to be happy. I want to make people happy with my content, entertain people. Is it an unrealistic goal to have everybody happy in the world? Yes, it is. But it, I can try. <laughs> I can try. I can dream. I can dream, dude. So yeah, that's where we're at, dude. I mean, like again with these podcasts, I do like. I do. I go through like I just. <laughs> the thing I've realized is if you have something that you care about. Like, writing essays for school sucks because you don't care about anything that you're given topics to write essays on. But then it comes to podcasts, and I just I go into my notes on my phone, and I just start typing away and prepping for these podcasts. I could type for, like, an hour of – just put an hour of notes into my phone, like 80, 85 – what do I have for this episode? I have 85 bullet points. I have 85 bullet points of talking points. Like, they're not all talking points, but – and I've went through like everything. They're basically just like basic ideas that I should talk about. There's 85 of them and I could type those up in like an hour and I'll enjoy typing them up because I actually care about doing this. Whereas like a school essay, I just, ugh, that's terrible, dude. Like nobody wants, I'll hate every second of typing up a school essay. So it turns out if you're doing things that you enjoy, you'll actually try your hardest and you'll actually do good at it. Maybe 
if we can incorporate that in the school system somehow, that'd be nice. I mean, you can pick classes that you'd want to do, but like generals, like English, I don't want to write about Walt Whitman in his, I don't know. Like we went over Walt Whitman. I don't even know any of his stories because I didn't, I didn't pay attention. And in my school, if you don't pay attention, you can still pass, which is awesome just from cheating and stuff. But hey, don't want to expose myself like that. But hey, man, if you're in high school and you're not cheating, I'm impressed. Um, congrats to you. Like, I talked to my parents. I'm like, yeah, I cheat in high school, like, all the time. And they're like, what? How do you do that? Back in my day, we just would copy, like, each other's answers. But I was like, bro, we got the internet now. It's it's so easy. It's so easy. And I'm kind of exposing myself. But at this point, like, if I was a teacher, it would be, like, I was taking a math test over a Zoom call. And I just, <laughs> I was just looking up the stuff on my phone off to the side. And I was my teacher has to be aware of that. Like, doesn't she has to? Like, if I was a teacher, I would immediately just assume all my students are cheating, and I would just confront them about it because then they get like they'd start, they'd get red, they'd blush, and then they'd they'd, they'd finally admit to it. But I would not be because for some reason I feel like a lot of teachers are just act like they don't know that we're cheating. But I don't know, I don't know. Life is very easy with the internet for sure. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is the internet good? Is it bad? There's a lot of cons to the internet. A lot of cons, terrible things on there. But at the same time, it's really good. It's really good with helping us out. It's Is it making us stupid? Like, I could look up any question in the world right now. Um, Hey, Siri. How many pages is the third Harry Potter book? Okay. Like, like what, like, what even was that? Like, what even kind of a question was that? And I can literally look that up. And I can see... I don't, know, I don't know. I see it on Amazon. I don't, I don't know where the page number is, but it's on here. You can literally just look up how many pages are in this book. Like that, you can look up any useless question you want, and it's there. And I don't know if that hurts us or if that helps us. But it is what it is, dude. It is what it is. Yeah. Am I am I going off to the rambling now? Four hundred sixty-four pages. It is the third Harry Potter book. Which, by the way, I'm sorry, everybody, for listening. I don't watch the Harry Potter movies. I don't watch Star Wars. We were talking about this in my stream. People were so disappointed in me that I don't watch those two. Like, I've watched them in class if we pull them up one day when we're not doing anything. But I've never willingly watched them by myself because I'm just not interested. I don't really care about the Harry Potter world or I don't care about the Star Wars world or Avengers Endgame was the first Marvel movie I watched. (laughs) I'm so uncultured, bro. (laughs) I don't know, man. I just grew up with, like, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, Scooby-Doo was my vibe. Johnny Quest, eh? I don't know, man. When it comes to movies, I just haven't really seen that much. But anyways, 57 minutes in. Am I, I'm definitely rambling, but let's just keep it going, because why not? Some people might find this interesting, which is, of course, a goal to keep people entertained for an hour, which is so difficult. But at the end of the day, I like doing it. I really do like doing it. i got to admit. It's fun. It's fun just sitting here and talking. And, like, the thing about podcasts are they could be so relaxing. Like... And usually, oh, usually I like review my podcast. Like I'll do it at night usually, which I found out doing podcasts that like I used to do them at like ten or eleven o'clock p.m. at night, and that was just a terrible idea because I'm always tired when I do that. And I just did that because I knew I wouldn't get distracted when I did that. And right now it's four o one p.m. and I've started doing them during the middle of the day now because I just think that's a better time because I'm more awake, my brain's more active. The only thing is that now during the middle of the day, like somebody could just walk into my room and I'd get really embarrassed, or they could be listening to me through my door right now. Somebody might be. I don't really know. I have this feeling somebody is, but I don't know. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Record podcast during the day. It's nicer. Even though I want to record a podcast at 3 a.m. in the morning some sometime. I want to do that. I think that'd be fun. It'd be really low energy and it should be epic. And also I want to do like a live stream podcast where you guys just like, you, you guys just come and ask me questions and I'll just answer all of them. We could talk about whatever you guys want to talk about and I'll just live stream it. And I think that'd be a fun podcast idea. That's that's one of those goals I know is going to happen someday. But when is it going to happen? I don't know. But I have my, my mindset that I'm going to do that someday. I just don't know when. But don't worry. I, like I say it now, but it might be like a couple months till that happens. But it's going to happen someday for sure, for sure. The live stream podcast. Because then you guys could just come and ask me questions. And it's going to be it's gonna be awesome to communicate with you guys. I just see that as being awesome. So yeah, I got some good ideas with the podcast. Next week we'll get guests on for sure. This is a solo episode. This is episode number nine. We're already one episode away from episode number ten. The double digits. That is two digits, not one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Even though this already is our tenth episode because I had an episode zero. But one more episode and then we're officially on episode number 10 and I'm just going to keep it up. Like once again, if all else fails, everybody, if all else fails, if for some reason I can't get any other videos up, please stay with the channel. Cause I'll be back in August at the latest, but also, but also the podcast will stay the podcast. If everything dies, the podcast is going to for sure be here every Sunday forever, forever and ever. The podcast will be coming out every Sunday and I won't stop that. The podcast is a grind and I love it. A lot of preparation, but it's going to stay. It's the one thing it's, 
it's one of the things that I enjoy the most because I can relate personally with you guys and you guys can learn more about me and I don't know. It's, it's just awesome. For, I think it helps you guys just learn more about me and I think that helps helps you guys kind of enjoy the content more. So I'm going to keep it up. A couple people are wondering when this is coming out. It's coming out late Sunday. Yeah, I waited till 4 o'clock on Sunday to record this, which which is risky because if somebody would have walked in me, I, I usually just restart if I hear like a lot of background noise. But I got lucky that I got an hour off here. And as we hit an hour and 10 seconds, good stuff. Good stuff, dude. Another hour where I talked. I talked. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. I could talk for an hour straight to myself. But the thing is, if somebody's like sitting behind me right now and I knew it, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it at all. No way. I'm not good at conveying emotions to people when they're face to face and doing all that stuff. But hey, here we are. This has been Spin Up Podcast episode number nine. Again, it was just about my channel. My plans are not going anywhere. I'm going to keep uploading every single day. Every single day, I'm going to keep going. Minecraft Zombies podcast. But the thing is, there's potential that I might not be able to. So it might be every other day. If it's not every other day, it'll be every three days. If it's not every three days, if it's no days, every Sunday there'll be a podcast at the absolute least. And I hope you guys enjoy the content for the summer. Let's get through this together. Hopefully you all are staying safe again. Let's stay safe. Let's get through this summer, have a lot of fun. For me, it's my last summer before I'm a senior. And then life decisions are going to have to start being made. Big plans, big moves. Let's just enjoy this last year together, everybody. Here's a toast. I'm going to... All right, I just tapped my my mic. Uh Okay. Yeah. That. All right. Anyways. Yeah. That's where we're at. So I'll just read, I'm just going to read these notes that I've made. I, all right. I typed down the notes. I'm just going to read them straight, straight off my phone. All right. Thank you all so much for the support on everything. I'm fulfilling my dreams right now in having a nice small community of people who watch my videos and are very active. Thank you all for everything. See you next week. Stay strong. Check out the discord. This has been the Spinify podcast episode nine. Thanks, thank you all so much for listening. Thanks you all so much for listening. Thanks you all. Hopefully you all made it this far. This is the 85th bullet point, and it says peace out. So peace out, nerds, and thank you for listening. Peace out, everybody.